motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings and peace, family. We are here with another episode with thequeendome.com. We're continuing with pineal activation or third eye activation. Before we get going uh, with today's episode, let's get into the present moment. So let's take a couple of deep breaths so that we can honor the present moment that we're in and the present state of awareness. And let's breathe. All right, beautiful. Wow, it's already Wednesday. Seems like time is flying. Time is flying, man. It's already Wednesday. Seems like it was just Sunday. But anyways, I hope your week is going uh, beautiful. I hope that uh, everything is working out the way that you're intending. If it's not, then get deep into your mind and get focused in and make sure that you're putting your intentions on the things that you want to manifest. All right, so we talked about, um, in part one yesterday, we talked about pineal activation, the importance thereof, so forth and so on. So we're going to continue today with part two. We'll probably do uh, two more parts uh, to end this week, and um, that will complete our pineal activation. Again, I wanted to tie this into the Kundalini Awakening because the two chakra centers uh, working together is going to give you the best optimal evolution that you could ever imagine. <laughs> so with that being said, um, what do we know about, you know, the pineal gland? Well, we know that pineal is, it's, it's about the size of a little pea. It sits in um, the middle of the hemispheres of your brain and it's shaped like a pine cone. Now in ancient Kemetic hieroglyphs, and we know Kemet today, modern day Egypt, okay? But in ancient Kemet, when they engraved the hieroglyphs, you'll see in a lot of different glyphs, you'll see the pine cone represented because they knew that that was the secret not only to the underworld, but the outer worlds and the various dimensions and connecting to those 95% of things that we can't see with the naked eye having the pineal gland activated and open allows us to interact with those particular dimensions, experiences, so forth and so on. The pineal gland also, like I said, sits in the middle of your brain, produces uh, the hormone serotonin, melatonin, and also DMT, and it manages our circadian rhythm. So I'm just kind of giving you a review of what we went over yesterday. Now, over time, as we grow into adulthood, most individuals, their pineal gland can calcify and can harden. And that's because of, um, you know, fluoride, aging, calcium deposits, different things like that, right? And also, you know, if you're not attuned or in tuned uh, with spirituality, it also will harden and calcify. And a lot of people, you know, they call the pineal gland, we all know, the, the third eye, the inner, the inner eye, if you will. So, you know, some of the things that could affect, you know, that could um, actually uh, increase the hardening or the calcification of your pineal gland, if you felt like some of these different side effects, like restlessness at night, you know, that means your circadian rhythm is off. If you're like mentally, you're just heavy, you know, if you've got like chronic brain fog, headaches, migraines, you get sick real easy, you just feel, you know, off kilter, off balance. If you're exhausted, 
all the time, chronically exhausted, stressed out, lack of clarity, you're stuck, you're blocked, um, that's a good indication that your pineal gland is calcified and you need to start doing the work to um, decalcify it as well as activate it and open it up so that um, again you can you can um, you know when you're all your your chakras are open and unblocked you're just a different being you're you're really not even an average I call 3d human being you're a meta human <laughs> so this is what we're talking about right so now um, there's another another thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't mention on yesterday's episode but in our brains we have these um, these little crystals that are in our brains you know science discovered this some years ago but there's these tiny tiny little um, crystal fragments of magnetite that lives in our brain and if you put the brain under a scan where you can actually you know see it if you can imagine the picture of um, the depiction that they have of the mythological character Jesus where they have the thorns pierced in his forehead around his head right and him hanging on a cross well, when you put the brain under a microscope, microscope, you will see these magnetite crystals going around the brain like they're thorns. This is where they get the depiction from. So you'll see these um, crystals going around the brain and then the pineal gland sitting in the middle is where they get that depiction of the mythological character Jesus on the cross. So what that signifies is it signifies that you have the ability to embrace Christ's consciousness if you do the work. If you do the work of clearing out your chakras, of opening your pineal gland, of decalcifying your pineal gland, and activating your pineal gland, you get that same benefit of Christ consciousness. I found that very, very interesting to connect um, the magnetite crystals with the, uh, with the depiction of Jesus on the cross. Um, also, the magnetite is, is one of the, the most magnetic substances uh, that's on the planet. And what it actually does is it, it allows us to detect the electromagnetic field of the earth right and it can act as like an, an inner compass this is how you know indigenous people and tribes from ancient days they traveled they didn't have a gps they didn't have you know a compass even at, at this point they they had their bodies their brain their pineal gland that they worked on to open up and they used that pineal gland as their compass so they use their inner eye their third eye okay so now these crystals they also they um there's a um what, what is it called um what is the thing called it's called uh i want to say it's called the schumann yeah the schumann resonance so basically when you activate your pineal gland, you open up your pineal gland, it allows you to work with all these different frequencies, all these different vibrations on the planet that you cannot see. You have to remember, if you look at the, the light spectrum, right, it's 100%. We can only see 1% of the light spectrum with our naked eye. So there's 99% of light that we can't see, vibration, all of these different frequencies that we can't see right now going into the process of opening up your pineal gland and activating your pineal gland gives you the ability to tap into what they call the Schumann resonance now I'm gonna read to you what this is what they're saying that it is so when you google Schumann resonance 
it says that it's been proven by scientific experiments that tuning into 7.83 hertz, the planet's own mag magnetic frequency, people experience benefits like enhanced learning, memory, body rejuvenation, balance, improved stress tolerance, anti-jet lag, anti-mind control, and grounding. So there are, you know, massive, massive, massive amounts of benefits just by simply doing the inner work. You know, and some people call it shadow work, right? But it's just doing the work to remember who it is that you truly are and the, and the powers that you truly have, okay? So you can't just sit around here and, you know, continue to be like everybody around you because, you know, the masses, the masses are not on the frequency. You know, the masses are, they're tied into reality TV. They're tied into what's happening on Facebook. They're tied into BS, right? That's just, that's just the way it's always been. You know, if you look at ancient times, all the way from first civilization up till now, the priesthood, meaning the, the group of people that have, have led the, the spirituality of the planet has always been few and small, always. So, you know, if you're into this, don't feel like, because when you try to talk to average people about this kind of stuff, <laughs> I was having a conversation with one of my good friends uh, a couple of days ago. And we were just saying, man, it's just it's just beautiful to be able to have these type of conversations with someone and they get it. They're on the frequency because you can't have these type of conversations with everyday people. You know, you're talking about opening up your pineal gland and, you know, being able to tap into different dimensions and different worlds. And they're like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't see that on the news. Right. So um, it's important, you know, that, that you realize that. And uh, that you keep you keep doing the work and you don't you don't succumb to uh, these these average uh, these average 3D humans. OK. So anyways, um, I wanted to also mention that, you know, like I said, there's 99 percent of light spe spectrum that that we can't see. You know, with our third eye, with our pineal gland open, we're able to connect in to that 99% and see some of those things that we can't see with the naked eye. And in fact, um, I think we already touched on that where the, the Hindu and, and Buddhist tradition, they, they paint the dot on their forehead to keep them, you know, aware, uh, to keep their awareness on that energy center, you know, right there within their third eye. You know, another thing is your pineal gland, it connects you with uh, your intuitive mind, with your higher self, if you will. That's why they call it the seat of the soul, right? It's the seat of the soul because it connects you with your with your higher self. You know, you have two you have two really parts of yourself. That's why some people say, you know, you have an angel on one side of you and then you have the devil on the other side of you. Really, all they're talking about is your higher self and your lower self. Your lower self is going to come from the lower three chakra centers that are closest to the earth. Um, and they're going to be more rooted and more grounded into earthly or material things. Whereas your higher self starts from your heart chakra and above. And it's more so connected with the cosmos, with divine infinite source with infinite potentiality so forth and so on all right so um keep that in mind as well so i didn't want to make um this episode too long because we do have two more parts but what i wanted to kind of wrap up here and start to uh, give you some solutions for opening your third eye, we talked about, you know, getting rid of the fluoride, getting rid of, rid of the heavy metals, getting rid of the negative people around you, right? <laughs> and getting rid of uh, any, you know, negative news and things like that that you're consuming. 
but also a couple of things um, that you'll want to to incorporate as well is that meditation is going to be your foundation for all of your spiritual growth and what meditation is is the channeling of energy it is the ability to bring in the elements from the earth the prana and the various elements that exist that nourish us to be able to channel that into your body okay so there are various meditation techniques I have a tremendous amount of them on my YouTube channel you can get to my YouTube channel just go to YouTube and type in Queen Maat M-A-A-T and you'll get to the channel if you don't find it that way go to thequeendome.com thequeendome excuse me dot com click on the YouTube picture now remember we also talked about the pineal gland produces these three chemicals your serotonin during the day your melatonin at night and then your DMT now your DMT is usually rushed in through some type of uh, adrenaline rush uh, death birth or any other type of adrenaline rush now ways that you can enhance those uh, chemicals uh, coming into the body is exposure to sunlight right getting outside and being in the sun you know and and you know some people they sun gaze I sun gaze from time to time it's not a practice that I do every single day but when I'm out and say I'm hiking or you know I'm walking on the beach uh, I will sit and do some sun gazing now it's said that the best time to do sun gazing is at uh, sun sunrise or sunset because at sunrise and sunset you can look directly into the sun without any type of issues and it's absolutely absolutely beautiful and this exposure uh, to the sun like that it will stimulate the production of serotonin which is which is a it's really um, it's a melatonin it, it's, it's kind of weird how the serotonin produces the melatonin as well and all of that again produced out of the uh, pineal gland area so you know sun gazing is a is a really neat little meditation that you can do like I said you don't want to look directly into it unless it's sunrise or sunset I love 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 sunsets so what are some other ways that you can you know start activating your pineal gland there's a laughter meditation laughter is absolutely amazing if you're not spending you know time laughing every day you're missing out on the joy of life laughter massages your internal organs it vibrates your internal chakras it does a lot of stuff so you need to be laughing I mean you need to laugh even if you're not around somebody what I do is I have clips of videos that make me just laugh till I cry and I watch those videos you know and I just laugh but most of the times I can just come up with an experience in my mind right and replay it and just laugh like crazy and laugh like crazy so laughter is a beautiful meditation also sex also love those are activities that will we talked about sexual energy on the uh, Kundalini Awakening series and that sexual energy is um, the most potent it is the most high frequency energy that w that we possess that's how we got here you know two folks had to come together they had to get together consummate and have sex right so it is um, a very very high vibration it's a very high frequency energy right I would just say be mindful you know of releasing your sexual fluids just you know willy-nilly <laughs> okay so have intention have purpose because that energy is your most potent energy that's like your little magic potion if you will right and then obviously love you know unconditional love is 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 
you know, the highest vibration there is. They say the 7.83 hertz that the earth resonates is the frequency of love. And in fact, um, there is um, binaural beats. This is a, it's a particular, it's a type of sound with certain frequencies that stimulate um, the activation of the pineal gland in the third eye because it's a, it's a love frequency. And I think if you, uh, if you do like 432 hertz on your binaural beats, you can, um, lay, you can lay that beat like over some affirmations that you're listening to at night or in the morning when you awake. And all of these things help with stimulating the pineal gland and uh, activating the pineal gland. Okay. So, um, hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. We're going to go ahead and close out for today. We've got two more parts that we're going to get into to close out the week and to close out the series on the pineal third eye activation. So have a great day, peace, and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.